In this video, we will see Loop Resistance Tester Unit Theory of LRT Test Doing LRT Test on Airbus A320 Watch the video till end and do subscribe. Okay, so this is our tester. This is the tester. So this is the tester. This is one range. You see here in this circuit. Square setting. Okay. This is battery one, battery two. You can when else on. Okay. Okay. Socket two, socket one. Socket two is for charging. Okay. So this is the plan. There's a connection over here. This one. There's another plan. Same. Okay. And these two cable. This meter. And this is current plan. So this will go here. This Okay, current clamp, that's all. Okay. Normal level, so this will go in milliamps, and this will go in common. Okay, while doing the test, we have to keep on milliamps. Okay, milliamps. So this pad is ready. Okay, this one. So this will go over here. So go on here, okay, and this, okay, this one, okay, so this is ready, okay, this is ready. We will be performing this AMM task card. Check that the connector is correctly tightened by measuring the resistance with a loop tester. Inside the task, it references a loop impedance test, also known as an LRT, loop resistance test. Let's quickly understand the theory first. Here, we have an aircraft shielded cable, which is grounded on both ends to the aircraft structure. For this test, we'll use an LRT tester, a multimeter, and a pair of current transformer clamps. We'll start by placing a current inducing clamp on the cable we want to test. After that, we turn on the tester. The clamp acts as the primary transformer coil, inducing current through the shielded cable, which acts as the secondary coil of the transformer. The circuit is completed via the aircraft structure, thus forming a loop. By measuring the current flowing in the loop and the induced voltage, we can determine the resistance. A low resistance indicates good integrity of the shield and a proper connection. Current is measured by installing another current transformer clamp, called a current monitor coil, connected to an ammeter. This time, the cable acts as the primary coil, and the current monitor clamp acts as the secondary coil for the transformer, allowing us to measure the current. Now, let's perform a simple calculation using Ohm's law and the transformer formula. According to the tester CMM, the number of turns in the primary current inducing coil and the current monitoring coil is 1000, while the shielded cable acts as a single turn coil. We'll adjust the tester to induce 1 ampere of current in the loop. The multimeter will help us monitor this. According to our calculations, if we measure a 1 milliamps in the monitoring clamp, it means we have 1 ampere in the loop. Inducing 1 ampere means that the resistance will equal the induced voltage. For instance, if we adjust the voltage to 20 volts in the primary coil, 
the induced voltage in the loop will be 20 millivolts due to the 1000 to 1 turn ratio. Since the current is 1 ampere, the loop resistance will be 20 milliohms. The LRT tester performs these calculations and directly displays the loop resistance directly in milliohms. Okay, so right now we have connected our tester. So this is our loop. This is CT1 and CT2. One is for current induction and one is for measuring the current. Right now we are doing for this one, this harness connector. Okay. So this is CT1 which is connected to our tester, loop resistance tester. And the other is connected to the multimeter in milliamp port. So first we'll just switch on it, putting the range on milliamp and then right now it is showing DC so I'll put it on AC. Then we'll switch on the tester. So right, we'll check the battery first, it should be in green band. Okay, now before switching on, we'll just check if it is in minimum position. This is the core setting and this is minute setting. So as per the AMM, we will set our this uh, setting so that we get here 1 milliamp. So we'll increase it slow one by one. So right now it is 46, 92. Now we have to keep it less than 1 milliamps. When we'll show you 1 milliamps, this tester will be providing 1 amp current in the current transformer. So slowly, slowly we'll increase. We'll take it till 98. Okay. Okay. So that's fine. So here, our other test, this is inducting 1 amp current and this is measuring 1 milliamp so when we are on 1 milliamp we will take the reading so this is the reading is our loop resistance which is 18.4 milli ohms so this is well be uh, below the threshold level so that's good we will just take it to minimum and then we will switch off we will switch off this also and then we will remove the loop so same thing we have to do so same thing we have to do for each plug which is mentioned in our AMM procedure okay so it is not necessary to do it near the connector we can do a little bit far away also like here where there is accessible